Wow. All right. Flare, goals. I need you to catch one over four. I'm actually going to start with a jig. What are you going to throw, chatterbait? Well, probably helps turn on the troll mark. Welcome, everybody. Hey, what is going on? This is my hand you're talking to right out the gate. We're going to start it off right on the boat. This is what we're doing today. Clearly, we're starting off fishing. I'm going to be throwing a black and blue jig. Lots of cloud cover. Chilly morning. Yeah, this scrum to Liam just looking deal. Different like we were on yesterday. We drove two and a half hours, three hours north. See if we can get on them. See if we can get on some a little bit juicier. He's going to start off with a chatterbait. I'm going to throw a jig. Deal? Sound good? See if something works. Okay. You can continue to throw that jig. What's that? Yeah, I'll, I'll... I will shrink down to something that's not as big. How about that? That a skirt. Let's see if that works. Underspin. Got him. Ooh. He's still back behind me. There he goes. Oh, first fish. He has no size to him. Weaker. He was not coming up in. Well, first fish, nothing to write home about. Switched over to a soft plastic on a piece of wood. We don't know if they're in the reeds or if they're on the wood. I have no idea. That one came off the wood. I really, 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 honest to God, wish they're in the reeds because I love flipping reeds with big heavy weights. It's still early in the morning. Time check for you guys is probably around 8 o'clock or so. 8.24 in the morning. First fish. Yeah, there's another one. He's a little. He's got it. He's like pecked it two or three times. Hoot! Need one flare? Catching flare fish. These are the ones you're pulling through the ice, aren't they? Yeah, what do you think, flare? 16 pounds? Yep, 12. Hey, quick start though. Out the gate. Okay, I'm gonna switch over. You're gonna throw that? I'm gonna throw it. Right <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can get anything to connect with a jig. I would really like to catch some on a jig. I like the like the hone in my skills on different techniques. I'm gonna throw a black and blue jig. That was just I think that was just throwing like a watermelon red. What are you throwing? Green pumpkin? Okay. I'll throw this black and blue. Alright, see if we can get them to eat this now. There's a bunch of logs here, you just can't really see them. They just won't eat a jig, dude. Hmm. If I catch a fish on this soft plastic after I've been throwing the jig in the same area. Might tell us something. You gotta tell me, like, what do we need to do to catch big fish? What do we gotta do? What are we doing wrong? I'm pretty sure that I just had a bite. Two out the gate. Do we need to go find more wood? No, the thing is, this has just been. We got all the bites on non wind blown wood. One of the biggest fish I've caught on this lake was around this corner. Oh, so he was there was some in there. Okay. That's a decent fish too. That's that makes, a decent fish too. Is it? Yeah. That makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah, Get her in the boat, Flair. Woo! There we go. Okay. She okay. was in the grass. Now we talking, boy. She was right here in the grass. This one. I just caught one. Oh, that was another one. That was another one, dude. Yes. That was another fish. That's interesting. That makes me feel a little better. We got out of the wind and they started biting. Yeah. Or maybe it's just because we started slowing down because it wasn't so cold. I don't know. Got him. Damn, he ran out of here quick. Damn, did he run quick. Did you see that? I'm talking he ran out dead center of the lake. Just not even back into the reed head. Okay. Hey. I love that. Well, we need one probably about four or five times. Oh, he's peeing all over my deck of my boat. Four or five times the size of him, but hey, we got one in the reed head. Actually, it's not a reed head. This is just, actually, you know what? Me and Flair don't even know what kind of head this is. We don't know what kind of grass this is at all. We know the ones over there are reeds because they're big and thick. I don't know why this is just like that hollow grass stuff. Don't know what it is. Somebody down below is going to know. I promise you. Pretty much the deal. Flipping into some grass. Look how shallow this is right here. Look at this. What do you think? Three foot? Uh, it's 10.30 in the morning now. We have got a solid, I think we've probably got 
five or six fish in the boat that have hit the deck of the boat. We probably missed a couple as well. It's a little chilly this morning. I got my boy from Nebraska, Flair. He's struggling right now. I'm struggling because I'm from Texas and I don't like the cold very much, but he is struggling. That means it's a bad on the, the nippy side, like real nippy. Great. He's also not really my nips dressed. I, I, have two, I have two hoodies on and two pairs of sweatpants. We'll give it a couple more hours. We gotta catch at least 10 fish for y'all, minimum. Allergies, still rocking, still cooking with, with gas. I hate them. Fish. Got him. Oh, baby. There we go. Come on now. Come on, fish. Finally. All right, let's go ahead and push that button right there. Get him in. Still shallow. Oh, I needed something like that in my life. Love it. Hello, found one. Another soft plastic bass. Like to find a couple more. It's getting quite chilly. This wind is very very much so unpleasant. We're now actually fighting with the wind because, well, there's about 30 or 40 boats on this lake, so there's not a lot of spots. So I want to throw it out there, everybody that's watching at home, you might be sitting on a block of ice, but I'll tell you what, I am really excited for spring. I don't think there's a person on this planet that's more excited than spring than me. Spawn fishing, I wonder if they need a lipless. You know what, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw a moving bait. This wind, I'm gonna throw a moving bait. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna let you keep throwing that. Oh, <laughs> my bad, dude. Bounce off my boat, hit you. No, oh, I got crushed by a tree branch. Hell yeah. You're going to catch a fish? Good? Oh, it's a good fish. Good fish. I was reeling him in for like 10 seconds. Oh, it's a good fish. Good fish, dude. Oh, baby. That, hey. I was just bringing him in. He Good fish. In. I would give him. You want to? Let's do. Let's do a guessing game here. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say he's four. Just four. at four. Just under four. Well, if it makes you feel better, I just threw that lipless all through there, and he didn't need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go back to a soft plastic. Imagine if you can go liger hunting. Fish. Got him. Oh. I gotta push this button right here, just so we don't go running into trees. Oh, we're gonna about to hit a tree. It's cold, but that was worth it. This wind today, ladies and gentlemen, actually, you know what? This wind for the last two weeks here in Texas has not stopped. I know, that's all I talk about is wind. Another soft plastic bass. Hey, we, we kind of upgraded another half pound. And that's a little bit better, isn't it? You guys can actually probably hear me now. That feels so good to connect with one like that. Oh, that makes me feel good inside. That fish was shallow. Water temp is 58.2. We're sitting in five and a half foot of water. That means that that fish was sitting in probably about a foot to two foot of water. This is the exact same spot. You're also stepping on my rod. Just want to throw it out. Ah, oh, that one will have to be re-tipped at some point. Exact same spot that Flair caught his. Uh, big old, that was a four pounder. Got about a month, ladies and gentlemen. Going to be nice and crispy. I think Flair told me that this is like a normal sized lake in Nebraska, or is this a big lake in Nebraska? Oh, this, is like a big lake. this is a big lake in Nebraska? Okay. Well, in Texas, this is just, this is kind of a small lake, and there's, how many boats do you think are here? 40? Yeah. 40 at least? There's 40, I mean, everywhere we go, the bank that we were about to go down that we started on, there was five boats just hitting it up. So I know these fish on this bank have for sure seen at least, who knows how many lures today. So this is definitely gonna be our last pass through here, because my feet are numb. I kind of feel like we, I should probably take Sarah out on like a, a date tonight. I think that's pretty crucial in life. Got him. There you go. There we go, baby. There you go. It's not Whoa. a bad fish, dude. I don't know. The, uh, the tips and a little bit of chartreuse action. I don't know what that means. It's probably not, but to me. Hey, it wasn't a complete nut or fail back in here. I thought we may or may not get like one, one, one chance at a fish because I know, like I said, this entire bank right here for sure. Those fish have seen multiple, multiple lures today, but it's good because Flair got to stick a, a half decent sized fish. Flair, Flair killed the game today. If you don't already follow my buddy Flair, he'll be linked down below. He's a good guy, gentleman and a scholar. He does nothing but fish. For the guys that don't know who he is, you need to follow him. You guys know what he's capable of. I want to be 100% honest with you guys, I'm actually very, very, very happy to have a day like this, like quality-wise on fish, this time of the year in Texas. I'm very, very happy with that. Oh, it was a good day. Cold, but fun. We're going to try something real quick. Bye. See you later. I was actually gonna try this dry dock feature. It's turned on right now, but my instrument my boxes didn't get wet. It rained on us pretty hard on the way back home. And I'm just gonna throw the cover on it. I mean, it's... Yeah, look at that little fan goes on in there and just starts drying on the boxes. That'd be good for the springtime when it is raining on me. 
a lot. What the? Yeah, you, you don't really, uh, you don't really see that very often. That's gonna be one cold Coors Light. Take a gander what has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what does that look like? Something's, uh, okay, something's already got a hold of it. Just give me a sec, I'll open that here in a second. I'm actually kind of interested. Whoa, what's up lighting? I'm pretty interested to see what, exactly what was sent to me from favorite. Fishy balls. Fishy balls. Fishy balls. Oh my gosh, so many fishy balls. So many fishy balls. Oh my gosh, it comes with a big black cap. Fishy poles! Wanna see what they are? Yeah, Okay. So do I. I can't get it open. They're stuck. All the fishy poles are stuck. You wanna help me? You wanna help me? Okay, look. Look at that dude. Look. 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 Open. Open. Oh my gosh, there's so many fishy poles. This one doesn't look like it has a pole in it. There they go, they can see it. Seven foot two, medium heavy. Uh, this is actually the uh, two piece casting. As you guys can tell, it comes with this thing. They sent me a whole bunch more, uh, mainly because you're catching fishies. 273 extra heavies. This is a 75 medium heavy, 75 medium heavy, 76 heavy, and 76 heavies. Every single one of the rods is going to come in a tube all like this by itself. They just took them out because they needed it for packaging. Here we go. We got six more new rods. Isn't that right, Avery? Say yes. Thank you so much. Okay. We'll roll with that. That works. Say fishies. Fishies, we'll roll with that. Now, if you guys need some of those kind of rods, they're always linked down below every single time they're linked in every single video. And for all the people that are new, I want you guys to know we are not being paid directly to promote those rods. Being the guys actually own a chunk of that company, we have owned it for a couple, oh, I'd say about a year and a half now. We've been working on this entire project as a group. So, just wanted to be known. And she still has that fishing pole, and 100% is going to probably, one, probably break something. Okay, that's just going to be yours. You can have it. You want it? Hand. Yeah, that's your hand. So hold it with that hand and then reel. Yeah, just like that. There you go. You just got to start him really young. Isn't that right, Avery? He's got to start him young. Other hand. The other hand? Okay, move my hand. So you got it yourself? She's good. Make it super awkward, but yeah, we're gonna go see the movie. Uh, what is it? What is it? What, 12 Strong. We're gonna see 12 Strong. Hopefully, it's gonna be good because the last movie I saw, I was not happy with American Sniper, was actually really, really bad. Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. That was not a very good movie. It was really fake, and just hopefully this one's really good. The last one, Lone Survivors, was was pretty good. The the sounds were real good, but Fury. Ever since Fury and like Band of Brothers, mainly Fury. Fury, the sound effects are on point. So hopefully this one's like superb. Got it. 12 strong. If you've seen it, let me know. I'm gonna tell you guys if it's good or not. So you wanna do my outro for me? I don't really know how it starts. It's because she doesn't watch my videos. Make sure to watch that video if you've not seen that one. Go ahead and click on the one right below it. And then if you haven't already, you need to subscribe. I love every single one of you. Thanks for hanging out.